All right, guys, Dave Smith, Factor 5 Racing. This is kind of fun. We kind of threw this together this morning. We have three XTFs here, and I realized each one is profoundly different than the other. There's really kind of, there's two different ways to build an XTF with the new Stage 1, but if you're building the full chassis one, you can build it a couple different ways. But we're going to walk through each one of these three trucks, so that if you want to build, you know, a Raptor Killer, a TRX Slayer, we got what you need but in three different packages. So we'll start out with kind of the newest news. Uh, Nate was at SEMA where we introduced the Stage 1 with Joey Logano and a bunch of other guys. Nate, step us through the Stage 1 XTF because I got to tell you, everybody looks at it and it's like, it's 25 grand, it's what, you know, what is this thing, you know? So the Stage 1 is the answer to 25 grand, pulling the cab off the truck. I'm not ready for that level of project. I don't have that in the budget. This is your entry level. This is to get you to Raptor level performance. So what you do is you maintain the F-150 chassis. We give you long travel, uh, lower and upper control arms, Fox shocks, uh, uh, long travel uh, leaf springs, and all the body panels, all the CV, the, the axles, the headlights, the front bumper, the rear bumper, everything you need to make this truck for nine nine ninety. So for ten grand. For ten grand, you can build this. It was a like huge. It was a huge hit at SEMA. Oh yeah. I was amazed by how much traction this got. We had it next to Joey Logano's XTF, which was the full XTF. A lot of people loved both of them, but I was actually impressed with how many people. I didn't actually think there was that many people that wanted to get just to that level. I think it's it's the budget way to do it. And people said it's way better than having a lift kit. They said it's just a fun yeah, truck to have. If you think about it, it's it's kind of. We're doing what Ford does on the assembly line. Correct. We're taking F-150, we're updating the suspension, and we're giving it this body that, Dave, if you check this out, thing's 90 inches wide. So the head-on shot, you know, when you're in traffic behind somebody in this truck, you fill their mirrors, and then some. Their side view and their rear view. I mean, this is just a nasty, nasty body kit. And if you give it a good walk around, Dave, we did some at SEMA. I mean, Nate, you're getting upper and lower control arms, shocks, so you can modify your F-150 chassis. Correct. A uh, Raptor uh, class or better leaf springs Absolutely. in the back. Absolutely. And then the carbon body is optional and the regular fiberglass is standard. Correct. And this, so, brings, you, uh, this brings you above a stock Raptor level. In terms of suspension, you've got more travel, 14 Correct. or 16 inches yep. front and rear. Yep. Basically, you got an F-150, maybe you paid it off, it's a 2015, 16, 17, maybe it's a 2020. For ten grand, you can breathe new life into it, and you come back with a brand new Raptor esque, you know. And you can truly do this with a, with two guys. You could do this in a, in a weekend. You could I leave work Friday, goals, come back right? in, have some beers in the garage with your buddy, yeah. strip it down, and by Monday drive it back to work as a totally different truck. Got it. Um, all right, second one. Let's go. Um, I want to do the whole project, so I get your stage one. Ten grand. A guy builds his F one fifty into that, and I think we're gonna sell a ton of these. I really do. I do. I do um, too. And this is what we launched with. We have two flavors of the XTF. Now remember, this is the XTF where you're replacing the entire chassis. It's a big job. You're taking the cab off, running gear out, and in comes our long travel, super strong, rigid, you know, replacement chassis. So now you're, you're, you're going from a Raptor, you know, assembly line modified, which a lot of companies make modified body kits and suspension kits. We've got one that's integrated. It's priced right, and I think it's going to be a rock star. But... You want to go pre-level class, pre-runner class, right? You want to get jumps. You want to get air. You want to build something that no one on the planet can do. When customers come out, a guy wants to go in this truck. Here's what I do: I get him in the truck, warm up the tires, go around the back parking lot, and then I hammer straight. Instead of going down the road, I just go over the grass and cut over our, our landscaping and everything. And people freak out because they don't know what I'm doing, and the the truck soaks it up like the bumps aren't even there. It's amazing. So, two ways to build it: 2015 to 2020. F-150, Yep. we're going to replace the chassis, we're going to replace it with huge Fox shocks because now you're going from 14, yep. 16 inches to 20 inches. Yes. So tell me about these two because they're, they're both very similar, but one's more of a, a street off-road truck and one yeah. is more of a desert racer off-road truck. I describe this truck as the street version. It has a street bumper. This is for the guy that wants the Raptor. It's probably going to keep it nice, bring the kids to school, go out on date night with the wife with it. Still fully capable, you can see by the videos I did earlier this year, or last year, it's been forever, I don't know. Uh, very capable off-road, 37-inch tires, not hitting anything. The thing is just a beast out there, but it has a little more refined look, more of a street truck look. 
Still gets the full full chassis, full full length suspension in the back. The upgraded uh, Fox shocks that are valved uh, for us with uh, external reservoir. They're, they're real badass shocks. Um, you know what I love about the truck, Nate, is this is kind of like, oh, it's our street truck. Yes. No. I, I take, every time I, I've driven this thing probably 500 miles, everywhere I go, people pull over and like, what is it? They think it's a Raptor R or some other special right, aftermarket right. truck, right? And I pull in the gas station and I had a guy pull up and say, what is that? It is extreme. I mean, it is, Absolutely. it's got the street bumper, but Absolutely. there is no limitations. And no, no, no. It, it, it doesn't hinder anything on it. It's just... The looks of the, uh, the the final one, the extreme one that I like, it's just different taste. You, this thing still has 16 inches of travel in the front, 20 in the rear. It's still a rock star out in the woods. I prefer, though, if I'm going out in the woods, to not have this here, just in case. I'd rather have something so like now this. this is the next level. This is same truck, but instead of the EcoBoost 6, yes. you're going to the 5.0 with a blower yeah, on it, a carbon Madison, parts. Madison like, blower. This is your Mad Max truck. This was a test mule truck. I, I love it. I know Dave loves this one. This is my baby. Uh, I've had so much fun I like fun how in you this. take care of your baby. It's like that's you never what, wash that's it, the crap it. out of it. I can't do it. It's not, it. I want people to see that this truck is, is what it is. It's a war wagon. This thing is ready to and go. And there was no body work done on this carbon. No body this work. This was basically a wrap. Some Just a wrap for SEMA. And then I've had it out in the desert numerous times while we were out after SEMA. We did a bunch of stuff with Motor Trend. Then I... We did uh, the Hot Rod Power Tour West. I took it out in Vegas out there in the desert. I took it to, then we went to Fox Shocks out in Ocotillo Wells, and that's where we had real fun with it, and custom valve the oh, shocks. You got, you got no tailgate on this? The red truck has a tailgate? Yep, no tailgate, you this is your spares. bare bones. This, this is ready to go. This, this is, is the one race. you're going out, have fun with, you have your spare tires. It has, I have the jack and everything for it that goes in it. I just don't have it in it right now, just because it does make noise when you're going off-road. So but. back in the day when I lived in Huntington Beach, Friday night, everybody's loading up and heading out to the desert, past Riverside, out into the, the high desert. If I was me back then, I'd grab the keys to this bad, Larry. Oh, yeah. I, yeah. When I, when we, ironically, we were on the power tour, and we were coming out and going up towards Barstow on a Friday. And I said, me and my wife were in the truck, and I said, where is everybody going with all the... And I'm like, then you see sand rails, you see four-wheelers, oh, yeah. ATVs. I'm like, then we saw them Saturday out in the desert. I said, this is where it is. New England, we go to... Our camps out on a lake. We do this. Those guys when you're out there, they just go out to BLM land and they yeah, just have a blast. Forever and you just yes. run as long the as you kids want. are out there. You have a campfire. You have your oh, you know, yeah. tents. I, I get it. If I lived out there, I'd be out there every it's weekend. It's like Taco Bell. Make a run for the border. Just right. the other way. Exactly. Hey, let's wrap it up on these steep trucks. Because, you know what? Nate didn't say it, and we're not allowed to say it, but this truck is getting loaded on the trailer right now. Right now. And we want to do this quick video because it's going to be gone for the next couple of weeks. Going on a special trip. A very special trip. A very cool, confidential, special trip we're excited about. We'll give you details about it when we can. XTF, supercharged 5.0, 700 horsepower, monster truck. Street Focus XTF Extreme full chassis replacement, twin turbo EcoBoost. Yep. And 10 grand, breathe new life into your F-150. You get all the looks of the, uh, you have all the looks of the XTF. You have better performance than an OEM truck. Oh yeah, I don't think I ever said that. 14 inches of suspension travel in the front, 14 in the rear as well. We never said that That's was the XCF. Yes, yeah. it is huge. All right, guys, um, if you've got any questions on the XCF, if you are interested in building an XTF and you come to Factory 5, we will take you out in the truck. My and, pleasure. My favorite part of the yeah, day. And no safely scare the living daylights out of you. Because the capability truck is beyond belief. So You never said safely was part of the deal. Oh, yeah, I did. Yeah, safely. Yeah. Guys, thanks rules. a lot. Hope you enjoy the video. Have a good one.